All right. It's the 15th. It's May. It's Monday. New week. New haircut. New me. New trends. Let's talk about the trends. No one gives a shit about my hair. I barely do. All right. And I position the mic here a little bit. And then we're going to hop over to this fancy screen that I have set up. There it is. All right. 27.4 for BTC is actually looking bullish. Leaning bullish. This leaning bullish. You all should be excited if you want to open lungs. Oh, my God. Rush in and push this bitch to $30,000, right? No, uh, not yet. Um, so over the next 24 hours, here's what you can expect for BTC. And then I'll get into, um, I don't know, let's do ETH. Um, and um, I don't know, uh, Matic. Ethan Matic. That'll be this week. I'll make, I'll make that the uh, the analysis for the week. Um, the 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 bummer, I guess, of doing Ethan Matic, right, uh, is for the most part that it's kind of like do whatever BTC is doing. There's extra volatility in it, so I could talk about those levels. They're just not nearly as exciting as like other alts that kind of like break away um, from from the norm. But honestly, you know, it's like oh, BTC did a thing, ETH is going to do a thing, and repeat, repeat, right, whatever. Anyways, I digress. We'll talk about it anyways. Let's break down to this trend, though. This is pretty cool. Um, so over the weekend, we rode underneath this uh, mean, all right? The mean was at uh, 27,109. And we punched all the way down here, right? All the way underneath the lower side one side. We never actually quite got to that lower side two of uh, 25,610, right? Um, and a lot of that had to do with, I don't know, the market didn't want to see 25s. So it only really wicked there. It closed at uh, 26,5, that one candle that pushed down. Um, the, the lowest close that we got, I think over the weekend, uh, was, was this one here, actually, it was, um, 26 to uh, 78. These are all one hour candles. So there wasn't a whole lot going on in that 25 K range. I know that we were like, Hey, this is how we get to 25 K. And, and honestly it had an opportunity to do it. Um, but, um, nope. People were like, woohoo, I'm going to put all my buys at 25, eight and then catch the knife. That's pretty much what happened. Um, so it worked its way back above the lower side one sig slowly but surely, right? After a couple hours there, um, to uh, 26,491, and then sort of flirting with that mean um, at uh, in 27. So it was kind of just like getting up there, getting up there, getting up there. And then it touched it, closed it, produced a new trend event, and then immediately kind of like showed like resiliency on the upper side of that lower one sig, right? Uh, 26.9 kind of became a battleground a little bit over the weekend. And then that one candle, that one candle showed up and then decided to push it up to where it's at now, which is the upper side two sig of 27.286. Price action maintaining up here uh, will build a um, uh, support range, but there's not a whole lot of upside left in the market for this micro trend. We could get a little bit extended um, out to those four or five sig ranges, um, which puts um, 28.5, I think, is what the, yeah, it's about 28.4 um, as the highest that I'm seeing in the next 24 hours. If that happens too quickly, that's parabolic and we get a return to mean. It's easy. A return to mean would be 26,761 plus or minus a dollar. And, um, and that's where it's going to be. So right now, in terms of how we're dealing with it on uh, ETH, uh, it's it's kind of the same story. It did bleed down in a step, you know, bit right now. But now we're operating well above the one sig. We're treating that two sig side, uh, which is uh, eighteen forty five, um, like some magical resistance. So whatever's there has a force field around it, and and ETH isn't going to get up there. The highest I could see for ETH in the next twenty four hours is like eighteen sixty nine. However, right if some decent, substantial, and sustained, the two important S's of trading, um, volume shows up, then possibly 1931 could be uh, on the um, the target side for ETH. But not, I, I don't know. I don't see it in the next 24 hours. It's just not, there's just not a lot of going on in the market in terms of volume and, and retention of attention. Yeah. I'm a poet. Um, and uh, right now, the deltas for Matic are pretty narrow. We have 89 uh, cents on the high side and 82 on the low side. That's about a penny per um, uh, per level, 
right? Uh, so a little bit tight, but it is operating on the bullish side of that, which is good. And it's kind of expected. And then last week when I was talking about this, I didn't really see a whole lot more down that 75 cent and all that stuff for, for Matic happening. Um, I mean, the lowest that we got over the whole weekend was like here. Uh, and it's, it, it's like 83.92 because uh, right now we're at um, sentiment support, macro sentiment support for it. And I'll, I'll get to that in a second and kind of show you what that looks like. Um, but uh, right now, max resistance actually like lowered quite a bit uh, for for BTC. I trimmed about 700 bucks off of it, which uh, is the result of the uh, downward channel that we had for a couple of days there. It gave a little bit of weakening. So max support right now is at 32,630. Um, we're not hitting that, by the way. I mean, like getting back to mean, which is also lower and easier to hit now, is at 28,877. But the high support is going to be your big, big battleground uh, over the next 24 hours. If it maintains bullishness, I would uh, be um, uh, not too alarmed, but I would be a little bit surprised if we saw some activity that happened above 27,991 for BTC, um, mainly just because I think that uh, that we need to range here a little bit. And also you can see here since the 7th of May, the market's actually been kind of slow through these levels um, to the point where there's no rush. Right. Um, but it is leaning bullish, which is really nice uh, for people who want to be bullish on BTC and, and not short the market that there's such limited downside on the on the on the the downward momentum of BTC right now. Um, like you'll be lucky if you get a three percent short right now. I, I mean, it's just I, whatever. I mean, but, you know, perma bears do your thing, you know, get owned. Um, and then uh, for ETH. We're also establishing uh, some decent behavior here between the medium and the high support. Again, 1869 being the high side for what that high support is going to be. Coming in underneath that is, is pretty much expected. A return to mean to 1927, like I said, is, is possible. Um, but I, I don't see that happening in the next 24 hours. We could talk more about that tomorrow. Um, and then here we are with Matic getting back above that max support at 87.9. Um, is going to be hard. It, right now, it's going to act as resistance. Um, but if we do, that does put 97 cents on the radar. It could take some time for it to get back there. Obviously, retesting that dollar is just off the... If, you, if you're watching somebody else or you're reading some Twitter or whatever, and somebody's talking about dollar matic coming in two hours or whatever the fuck, like, just block that person because like they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. But um, it, it, it is possible to see this week. Right. But it, the market needs to mature. This trend needs to mature um, as the days go on. Uh, we could see some some pretty decent mo mobility on the upward uh, market movements here Wednesday, Thursday, if volume magically appears again. Um, and then, of course, some sell down pressure the couple days after that, Friday, Saturday, et cetera. And then like a green candle shows up on Sunday. Um, but the repetition of what we're seeing with like weird Wednesdays or, or you know, and then like kind of sad Thursdays and Fridays with flat Saturdays and then a pump on Sundays like it's too routine to maintain so there's probably going to be some change happening uh I don't know if it's going to be this week but it it should be soon because whenever you see repetition in the market where it's like just brain dead behavior right um to being able to see it coming then uh the the forces that be will change their mind um more on this tomorrow so I'm I'm looking forward to the way this plays out because I think it's it's going to lean a little bit on the on the bullish side. It's just it's more green than red um, over the next day, but uh, I don't think it's going to get erratic or anything. You're not going to see excessive amounts of volatility, but you know, healthy movement. Let's establish some price here and make the week interesting. You know, until tomorrow.